G'day guys, and welcome back to Stitch Up, and another episode of Factorio. So, uh, this is our Lake World series, and last episode we actually started doing things with the oil. Of course, we have oil coming in here, and they're coming into these four tanks by train from the satellite base. And coming in from over here, jumping on, coming across to there. Oh, look at all these spider bases being, being uh, annoyed by us. We'll have to go, we'll have to do a uh, little, we'll probably have to clear out this whole round of spider bases at some point. So so last episode we jumped in we come in and did some oil now in between episodes I'll show you a couple of things I've done so we have one of these these are oil refineries we now have three of them and it seems to be that the oil is being processed and it's not flicking on and off I don't know about not a lot about oil flicking uh, I don't know why I got the undergroundies there but I do um, <laughs> and underflowies here because underflowies should do the work for the undergroundies but I don't know what I've done there but I might change that um, and of course last episode we just uh, a proof of concept so we've used the bus and we have set it all up here we put coal onto the bus recently and we've been able to use it I had one of these plastic makers um, I already had the sulfur maker going see it was a bit like this so I just have one of those guys and now I've put another one below it and another one two three four above it six plastic makers they're all coming in here if you can see here as well we were already doing engines so you've got engines and sulfur combining this is a recap here so engines and sulfur combining onto one belt plastic and green chips coming in here when we have the red chips we've got these two produ producing the copper cables they're going onto a bus uh, here so it's done like this they put onto this little section and they go onto this other section here uh, and then they head on upwards I've got two rows of red chips uh, one two three four five six that's 12 red chips supported by two of these guys so I think it's pretty good everyone seems pretty happy and the red chips were backing up at some points but what we've done is we've gone ahead and expanded uh, the the blue science and the blue science is now queued up we have a look it's actually queued up back to here and of course just a little recap that this is how our science looks over here so the science well we can't see it oh yes we can we can see it so they're feeding into the middle green and red and blue and gray so they're coming into here and all the sciences are capped up and ready backing up oh they're really backing up wow cool okay so our our thing here is just to get some science going immediately so please jump into the stitch up intro and I'll see you at the science Science Labs in just a sec. Okay, and not at the Science Labs, but in the Science Menu. So we're gonna go here and just do Advanced Oil Processing. This is gonna be 75, lovely. And 75 uh, of each of those three. So not the greys, so that'll be fine. And of course, uh, this all means that the um, bus will be queued up. Um, oh, sorry, sorry, not the bus. The bu well, yes, the bus, but not queued up. It will be, um, it'll be moving again. So all the parts in the bus will actually be consuming and moving because even though it is all backed up, they should all be firing as things get moved along gradually. And we'll, we don't have the ability to cue the science. Oh, some attacks going on down south. They are spitting across. Eventually they'll spit across and kill the turret and have a weak point to get through. So we will be looking at different ways of clearing out the biters. We will have to go off and uh, sort them out at some point. Now, one thing I do want to do is I want to bring plastic and I want to bring red chips uh, down to the bus. And I believe I might want to bring sulfur as well. Um, so let's see about it. Um, I mean, all the all the science is going to go under control, but I definitely think we want sulfur on the bus. So let's think about this. Do we want to just review the bus and have a look? So we've got four um, iron plates, three copper plates, one coal, although the coal might not be needed anymore after this, but we'll keep it there. Um, we then got over here, we decided to put in the uh, the silver cogs um, and uh, um, silver cogs. Uh, ooh. Uh, what are they called again? These guys are called, not silver cogs, but iron gear wheels, uh, steel bars, and we've got the, uh, the belts. Um, and then we've got uh, green chips. Now we do need red chips on the, on the, on the bus. Um, We've now got here water, and then I believe we've got 
this. Now, what I've done is I've I've cut this off because we don't actually need all of these guys here. So um, we may not need anything else, but we need to have a look at what else is being made on the military side of things. So let's consider how we want to do this. So we've got these four here, but do we want to, well, I decommissioned a line here at the bottom. So this particular line is a free line there and I believe this line here is a free line here so I'm tempted to put red chips here uh, so this could be a red chip line uh, if we do that and then I'm tempted to put uh, sulfur and what I'm thinking is is there any problem with us putting sulfur uh, and I think we might use filter inserters if I put sulfur on one side and plastic on the other. So sulfur and plastic, uh, and that, because those two seems like they'll come up in other recipes. Uh, let's do the next one. This is lubricant. And we'll start the research on that. So uh, yeah, let's do this one here can be red uh, chips. Uh, I'm wondering if we can take anything off here. So red chips might have to be well sulfur and sulfur and uh, so sulfur and ooh geez we could put them on like that couldn't we we could although I want a separate flow going on so what I want is this situation over here so I think we'll do that let's leave this one for red chips a little bit later uh, what I wouldn't mind doing is um is what do we got here I just want to clear I want to clear all this off. Uh, how much room have I got here? I don't have very much here, do I? No, I don't. Okay, we've got a bit of coal in here. So what I want to do is just go along to the furnaces and drop off the coal. Uh, let me drop off a few things here. So uh, what else have I got heaps of? Coal and wood. Coal and wood. Um, really don't need all this wood here, do we? No, we don't. Uh, mm. Well, we could put... So we've got heaps of those guys. Uh, so we, we're going to put them back into here in just a sec. Uh, let me see here. Coal, coal. Where's coal? Ah, coal's being used in here. Well, we could do this. So we're going to pick up the coal, and I'm going to drop this first. And that is the coal gone, which is good. Let's come along and get the next science, which will be electric engine. Start that one. Uh, so, uh, we've got a bit of room here. Yeah, we've now got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven slots. So that's all pretty good. Um, got a lot of these power poles and a lot of the wood there. Okay, cool. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab myself just one more box uh, chest here. And put it sort of here so we don't forget about it. And I'm going to take off all of this and I'm going to take off so all of the power poles and all of those then I'm just going to take back a hundred of those guys and a um, hundred wood okay so there's a few more slots empty now which is pretty good uh, we've got lots of extra power there so we can sort that out a little bit later on and I will of course need to go pick up some things so I can be crafting as well which will be pretty good although we don't need to craft anything at all Okay, let's start bringing these items back down to the bus. Look at the electric engines flying along. So the first thing we want to do is bring down sulfur and put it on the bus. And I like the idea of this here, like this. So, um, let me see. Uh, red undergroundies, not too many of them. So, although, can I make them? Red undergroundies, they would need uh, iron gear wheels and underground belts. So, yes, I can if I grab some of these guys. Iron gear wheels, and I think I need to craft the, ah, no, underground belts are being made over here in my sub mall. Just jumping off, Oop. jump off here, jump in here, and what are these lovely robotics? Ooh, robotics, that's going to be brilliant. Uh, I'm not sure we'll go dive deep into robotics too soon. Uh, let me see about this, and get all of these guys, so 100. So, can we craft up under, under ones? Yes, I can. So... They do take 40, so they take quite a few of these. We can get seven of those guys. Um, so I need lots of them. And then these guys will keep making them. Okay, so that's that. Uh, so it is the iron gear wheels that is what we need absolutely heaps of. Yeah. Uh, and if we have a look here, we can now do 13. So we'll do a few of those guys. And I think I'll just get a few more 
So we've got a few, yep. Um, and I think I'll wait for the other guys just to pick up and then we'll get those a bit later. Okay, brilliant. All right, so we're aiming for down here. Now, I want to just have a look at the reds because they might help us to be less obtrusive. Uh, we are making some more up there. Uh, oh, no, I've got absolutely heaps. 38, so that's quite a few. Okay, I don't want to put them on here. Um, so what are you doing? You're buffering their uh, engines. Right, we'll have to have a look at that. Okay, so this is what we want and we want the red. Now, let's see how far it stretches. Uh, it stretches to there so that's not too bad and then yeah that's lovely so it just stretches the four across doesn't it but we don't want to put it on here um, but what we can do is this right and then uh, if we just block these two I should do that to fix those two up uh, now we don't mind it going to here to all the way, so we'll go to there. Okay, and we'll leave it at that point. Now what's going to come out in a sec? Uh, where are the products? There they go. They're coming out. So we'll just pick those guys up. Yep. Uh, and then if we grab these yellow undergroundies... Uh, I thought I have them on the... On this. Yes, I've just managed to switch these two around again. I must look that up because I often do that by accident and I don't know what the command is to unswitch them. Um, feel free to leave that in the comments if you like. So that's done. Let's go here. The next is worker robot speed. There's going to be 50 of each with the blues, the greens and the reds. Okay, that's nice. Uh, right, cool. Okay, so we're bringing the sulfur down. We may as well connect up. And yep. Lovely. So sulfur's going to come all the way down. And we're going to put sulfur because uh, we want the chips to be here, don't we? Well, I wonder if we could put the red chips there, actually. That'd be nice. So let's put them onto this. And I think what I want to do is I want to cut this. Yep. And I'm going to put them... Oh, no. Keep that one. Cut this and put this guy here and here. So they're going to go onto this one side of it. And that's how we want to do that one. Now, if I can go here and just pick up... Uh, whoop. Yep, that's good. And connect up. Okay, that's good. Okay, now we'll need to be putting some stuff on the underside, the plastic bars on the underside. So, um, when we do that, now I want to also just get rid of this part of the bus because this is now not required. And this is extra space to, to retrofit something else. Uh, now we've just got a little bit of concrete here, so we should be able to do that. Let's go back and get some more of that. Yeah, we've got a bit of extra space there, so we'll be able to do some stuff. Okay, so plastic on the underside now, please. And the plastic wants to split here. So I'm just going to grab myself a uh, another undergroundy. And I'm going to go from here as far as we'll go, please. Why does that do that? because we're full? No, I don't know why. Okay, and I want these guys to split and I essentially wanted them to split in line with that but I'll, I don't think that's the template spot anyway. So what we'll do is we'll do, let's do, yeah, we could do this. Yeah, we could do that. Right, and then I need to go. Yep, that's fine, that continues on. And then these guys go to here. Now, yeah, we can use the uh, puppet tool and we'll go, geez, we could go all the way in here. So let's do this. Uh, now I want to get rid of that, 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 and that. Now I want to go to there, I'm grabbing the yellows. Uh, yellow underground is to here and here, so we don't contaminate. Might as well connect the line up now. Um, and we do that. Okay, so now we're good, and we'll have this coming into here. So now all we need to do is... Uh, actually, what we could just do here is grab an underflowy for this. Do this to there and this to there yep and then we should be able to just come in 
and we'll do it right across so we've got this buffer here. Oop, yeah, yeah, that's right. That's exactly right. Okay, so we've now got sulfur on one side, plastic on the other. That's a usable, uh, nice little bus line. We're going to run a, another one down here for extra red chips. Now, red chips on the bus is interesting because I've got red chips and they're all being used at the moment. But what I want to do with my red chip supply, um, actually, look, you know what's happening? Production... These red chip makers are not really doing enough. So what I'm thinking I might do is I wouldn't mind, I wonder if this, this might work. What about, see this is all backing up. So what about, uh, we're not backing up here though. So we're not stopping supply of this entire factory module. We are backing up to there. I forgot to press more of this. Let's get themselves, let's get ourselves a ripper. What do we get? Let's get we weapon shooting speed five with 500 of each. And that'll help us just clear the backlog. It is a huge one, um, and it's probably starting to... We probably need to upgrade the factory before we get to that. But what I'm thinking is I'd like to stretch this, these two belts um, and bring them along here and start with those two belts and then get them into another factory. So what we'll do is we're going to get ourselves the another red, uh, red chip factory. Um, and we are probably going to have to beef this up. Uh, I wonder I wonder if this could support that and then I'll just get the other guys to flow. Now the plastics is is what the problem is at the moment. Uh, and the plastic at the moment is the flowing of the plastic. The train is gone, but we've got full flow here. These guys are full. Yeah, look, these guys are absolutely full and the train is just coming back. So the supply is is good. I just don't believe maybe I don't have enough of these guys. Because see how this is flashing? So I don't know why the this is all, it's the petroleum that's flashing. So these guys can't quite keep up. So let's add on a few more of these modules. And I'm going to put a little gap in between these guys for a bit of running. So let's do a gap of two. And we'll do three. Yeah. I'm going to select the, uh, select this uh, the same. Yep, there's a recipe. Now it tells me where the inputs are. Okay, and we'll just make all this the same. So it's here, here, and above. And then it's two, two, and, uh, whoop. yeah, that's good, that's good, and two, yeah. Uh, and then we've got to say about this. Okay, so we definitely want to be able to go here, then we definitely want to be able to go to here, then over here, we need to make some more. And we can't. So the pipes, I don't believe we've got 43 pipes, but it's the plates that we don't have. Of all things, we don't have the most, uh, the most basic is the plates. Uh, so I've got a bit of room now. Let me collect a few plates. Yeah. And let me craft up a few of these guys by the time we get up there. Okay, and we just wanted to get this happening. So it's there to here. And that works brilliant. Okay, so we've got three of those and we were powering these guys at an interval of this. So let me put one kind of there and then here where we need it to be. And then there and then there. So now we've doubled the production of that. Now my aim here is to see, uh, we have not doubled the production because we haven't got the flow in. Of course, so we to be very careful. Uh, there's no flames coming out the top. So, I mean, can we not? Can we concentrate a bit? Is that what we want to do? Should we do that? Yeah, I think we should. Okay, we'll do this. Um, do we not have any of those guys? No, we don't. Okay, these would be really quick. Pipage. Uh, 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 oh, we're still doing the uh, underflowy, so I might just do those again. And now that we've got the pi regular pipes happening, we can go here, here. Here. Now they fire up with the flames on top. And what I'm looking at now is to see whether or not we get a full amount coming out the top here. Uh, this is interesting because if you have a look at the percentage there, and I think we can add modules in, speed modules, efficiency modules, and power modules. So it's going to be well interesting once we start adding modules onto those guys. Ah, we're low on power. Is that what the issue is? low on power. Okay, let's jump on a power pole and have a quick look here. So, uh, where's the different ways we can look at this? Uh, five seconds. 
satisfaction sitting in the uh, here. Amount of power currently being uh, produced out of power currently required. So we're not hit the hitting the satisfaction. We're producing 10.8, but we're not satisfying. So let's go ahead and do that. Now, power, we actually have quite a few of these guys and boilers as well, but I do want to make some more boilers. So let me just see about that. Uh, if I go here, I believe I can make them. Yes, I can. Uh, steam engines. Let me make these eight boilers and we'll just go see about this. Because hopefully the power is what is slowing us down. Now, what were we doing as well? Let me confirm. Oh, we were thinking about red chips. Okay, it's quite a bit happening there, isn't there? There is. We do actually need... Have we got any landfill? We do have landfill. Why don't we go ahead and... Have we got any extra... Yeah, we've got a few of these guys. Let me make a few of those. Because um, we'll come across here, we'll do power and we'll do labs. And we'll finish the labs and the power. And it'll be lovely. Um, yeah, because they're all being used. Uh, we are getting through it. This guy takes 500. So we might actually just jump back onto this. Lasers. And that's brilliant. The laser is 100 of each. This one will fly through. So we'll get through that. Uh, now we want power. Yeah, let's see about the power situation here. Okay, now I had a look at power. I was reviewing power in that previous episode when I was watching it. And I don't know, I've done power here like this, uh, but I don't think this is the way to do it. So I'm thinking, what I'm thinking is we might uh, extend power up and put it, put it down and then get rid of the other stuff. So uh, I do need to create extra belts. Can I do that? I can. I will need to get them going before I can do anything. Um, let me see about this. So I'm going to go here, here. Uh, yep, and then we can worry about it elsewhere. So at the moment I've got 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12. Well, let's count it here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And I'm replacing it with 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And we're going to go 9 and 10. And then we might put a little walkthrough after that. So uh, I will need to get myself 10 of these guys. Uh, and then I should have enough here to do this. All right, let's go to here. Yep. And then grabbing these guys. We've got exactly 10 now, which is good because they'll take up a spot in the tool, in the tool belt. Um, let's do this. This should get power going from 6 units to 10 units. Uh, right, brilliant. And then we're going to get rid of these two. And we're going to we're going to we're going to we're going to see if we can make this work. I don't know if squashing them in is going to make it work, but what I'd hoped was to get rid of that as well. Oop. And this one, yeah. Compact. Okay, if I do this Right, if I do that, where am I going to put the power poles that is going to be able to make it all happen? So, can I do this versus... Um, am I going to have issues with the power poles? I think I am. So, we might have to do this slightly different. Okay, let's get a, let's get a workable template going. Here. Maybe maybe this isn't correct, but let's get a little workable template going. Uh, we've got that in the middle, and then if we go here, uh, and then we go, sorry, if we go there, right in the end, and there, get rid. No, okay, let's not worry about these guys. I don't want the power working happening from here, so we'll get rid of this power. Okay, that's good. All right, let's get an extra one of these and go here. Oop. Belly is in the way, so it's two and two, and now we want to see about the power. Uh, let me see here. So if I go there and then there, that's going to make everything work, isn't it? Yes, it is. Those guys are going to fire up. Now, why aren't they firing up? Is it because of the water? Oh, because they're not connected to any network. That's why. Brilliant. So we'll just connect them down here and they'll, they'll fire. Okay, good. All right. So they're going to work. Uh, that means we need to do it like this then. So let's do it again. Let's let's get an extra uh, one here. One right next to it. And then... So what we can do as a repeatable, because the best way to repeat this 
looking for the next module there electric energy distribution 100 of each thank you very much okay and so what we're going to do here is we're going to say like this and then we're going to put in these guys yeah so we're going to go one yeah Okay, cool. So we'll go, um, watch the player. Let's put him this side. And we'll go here, here, and then a gap of one. Okay, so what's that? Two, four, six, eight. And we want, let's do 12. Let's double our power. And let's do that. Lovely. Okay, we want this, want this. And we definitely want that. Connecting up here, and now we should be able to go here and put these right in the middle. Filling up. Uh, that's lovely. And we decided to go from that amount to 10, so we will have to get extras. Let's just grab five. Um, and these guys are ready. So we put that there. Extending our belts for fuelage. Uh, that is brilliant. And then. Let's get ourselves extra steam engines, and we want these guys to go here and here, here and here, and it's the power that's going to be interesting, and we will see if we've got the larger poles, actually we probably could have just used larger poles to solve it, but we'll solve it like this anyway, so that'll be pretty good, and I don't think we even need this, to be honest, uh, there it is, yep, we don't need that, we just need the line up the middle, which is great. Uh, where's the attack coming from? I'm tempted to go and check out a few things here. If these guys get through, where is the attack? Uh, ooh, let me go into map mode and have a look. Is it down here? The attack's... Oh, it's there. Okay. Uh, can we zoom in? I think it's not too much of an issue. I think we may have one going through. Oh, we could have someone just going in and eating there. Okay, I might have to just go and have a look at that because that one looks like he's persisting. Uh, in the meantime, I'm just going to pop up here and see. Actually, best thing I could do is grab this and grab this power pole and make it lovely. So we want this guy to go all the way up and he should cover everything off nicely. Okay, and it's here, here. Uh, we're then going to go see if this has uh, changed anything in that area of the bus with production. And don't forget, we'll be well oversupplied here, so I'll need to cut these guys off as well. So what I might do is just remove the... Let's remove the power lines, and then let's grab ourselves this one, and just say here to here, so these guys are connected in now. So these guys are now connected uh, to there, but they're not connected into the network. Um... And so, to connect them into the actual power grid, we're going to go here, and we're going to go here, and then there. So that puts the lights back onto everything. These all fire up, and I just want to disconnect these guys with power, their power lines. I mean, I can actually pick them up. Actually, yeah, you're right. Let's pick these guys up. Uh, it's that one and that one. Right, brilliant. Okay, so if we click on a power pole now, we can see that it's green on the satisfaction. Okay, good, good, good. We'll come and clear this up after, or oh, in between episodes. We've gone from 6 times 2 to 10 times 2, so we've increased somewhat, uh, quite well. We'll now go ahead and change this so this all adds up nicely. And we are getting science going. It's a good time to select another one. It'll be a construction robots. And they'll go, they'll rock and roll, please. And now let's use up some of the landfill. So um, what we want to do is, yeah, just need to get a few of these guys. And of course, we kind of just want these guys to be here and here. So that's exactly how we want it. Uh, and I just want it to line up to here anyway. So it does get through quite a bit of, quite a bit of that, doesn't it? Uh, yeah. There we go, that's nice. Okay, so how much do we want this to be? So here. Oop. So it's going to be... Right, the edge of the coast is doing me in. Lovely. And... Very nice. Okay, so we're going to want yellows. And yellow in the middle, 
and then we'll select the red that's already in the right way with the pipette tool it places them all in the right way which is lovely I do like that I think that's really handy these are things I'm learning on this playthrough I'm actually learning so much on this playthrough which is you know I think great uh, now these guys are this is I wanted this to be neat but I don't know that it's going to actually if we do that and you know what it's just not going to happen okay let's do that to get rid do that do that Do you know what? Power lines are just not going to be neat. Uh, what's the problem? He's picking up. Everyone seems to be powered. Okay, no one's got the alarm there. Uh, let's select the next thing, which will be personal robots. Very nice. Personal robot. Okay. And that means everyone should be firing up nicely. I think so. Yeah, everyone's firing up. Even at the end there, they're all getting going. Good. Okay, so that for this one personal, which is uh, 50 of each, we can see that it's, you can noticeably see it going up there. So even if it was 100, you're noticeably seeing it going up. So we are doing pretty well on that. Power is now good and science is now good. And you can actually see that it's good because the blue and the gray are banked up. But then again, that'll be a legacy thing. It's the red and the green that we're probably going to struggle on actually. So uh, this is going to keep the bus moving. It's going to keep everything moving. And we need to look at... Uh, we do need to look at security next so that'll be the very next thing just before we finish the episode so this episode all we really did is add some things to the bus um, uh, added some very vital products to the bus we test we uh, absolutely uh, improved all of this um, uh, laying here uh, of the uh, of the uh, of these guys um, so that all did pretty well we, yeah our refineries doing very well it wasn't that We've probably overdone it. It wasn't what the case, what what it actually was, um, and we probably might need to put petroleum uh, products onto. There's the train go. How lovely! Yeah, I tell you what we could do. We could probably get a second carriage on that train, and then uh, it'll mean that it'll just have to uh, come here um, a little bit later. Uh, what we are going to do here, though, we have this, but I don't believe I can repair it. Let me just try anyway i don't believe so no okay but uh what we will do is we will just repair some of these walls uh let's just go up here and repair these walls which would be lovely um and then we're actually going to grab ourselves uh, a few more radars now i did produce a few more so let me do one here and the idea i guess would be so if i can now drill down i can see what's happening and of course it is these friends up here look at them they really, they really are growing impertinent, aren't they? I mean, they're, they're big. Look at these big tackers. Uh, what do you got there? Spawners. Uh, you got any worm? Yeah, you got some worm here. Uh, spawners, little war party gathering, and it's lovely. And they are looking at different, uh, different things. So this, this will take care of. Uh, and then we need to see, uh, because over there, no doubt, we're getting attacked. Um, probably need a radar over here. But we want the oil facility to be able to be left alone, not run back and defend it, and it should be lovely. The pollution over there is minimal anyway. Uh, what we It's the ring of inner bases that we'll probably need to attack at some stage. Once we do that, um, we may even consider putting a second line of defences out here, a second wall, but we'll see about it. Uh, so far, no one has got in and attacked the the uh, the, the bus. Um, so that is pretty good. Since we've had the bus, we've had no one go and do that. Okay, these are all for robots, but we're going to just tick them off anyway. I'm not sure I'm going to use robots, but never say never is what I say. Um, and uh, yeah, look at the look at all these. Uh, I love the the factory just running in the background. It's brilliant. And of course, the bus situation is absolutely. We'll stay in map mode for a sec. But look at this bus. It's quite good. These guys are all firing. The bus is all happening. Military down below. Uh, production up top. And uh, we've actually got into the red circuit production. And of course, we're not. Oh, we are getting a bank of red circuits. So even with all this going, blue sitting around here and not backlogging, just using what we have even with that we are getting red circuits backed up so there's no need to start a second red circuit factory the idea now will be to split it and put red circuits on the bus and these guys are going to go on the bus here in this little line just here guys i've been stitch up um, i might put red circuits on the bus um, i might get some more sulfur going just extend that put some red circuits down on the bus nothing special just run it maybe split it here i'm going to keep this uh, empty split it here run it straight down to the bus and it's going to be lovely please leave your comments don't forget to like 
like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next episode of Factorio. This is Lakeworld. Cheers.